Stuart Reed, Executive Director, Food Co-op Initiative. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, we can go ahead to the next slide. Food Co-op Initiative is an organization that was created by many of the or other people in this conversation today. Uh, when we realized that there were a lot of new co-ops suddenly forming after a time when there hadn't been too many. And uh, these are my butterflies that are flittering around out there looking for help and assistance and nourishment. And we're trying to provide them with a place where they can find a, a home and the help they need. Uh, for that purpose, we, we act as a reference library and a sort of a networking hub for groups that need to get that support to work from a grassroots level. Okay, next. To do that, we offer advice uh, on the phone and by internet for the most part. We offer referrals to professional organizations and consultants that can provide deeper levels of support than we can in, in technical areas. We offer training resources in the form of documents and links and uh, directories on our website. We do some live training on a limited basis when we, when we are participating in workshops and conferences. And when financing, financing permits, we also have some small seed grants to begin the development process in co-ops to help them get off the ground. And we work with NCB, the National Co-op Bank, to provide sprout loans to co-ops that are nearing implementation and opening so that they can uh, bridge the gap between raising funds and getting their final loans from their bank or members, as the case may be. Right now, there's contacts that we have with over 380 individuals or organizations that are working to support co-ops. That represents something just shy of probably 300 organizations. And, and of those, I expect half to two-thirds will probably be successful in opening a co-op someday. Uh, we also supply some help to other co-op development organizations when they need uh, assistance or advice on how best to support the co-ops that contact them. And increasingly, we're being uh, used as a resource for the press to get information about what's going on in this world of co-op development. Why are there so many new co-ops? And what are they bringing to the, their communities? That's a, that's a wonderful thing that we can do. Okay. You can advance me. There is a map that uh, we put together fairly recently. It's already out of date, though showing the locations of some of the groups that are trying to organize co-ops right now. And as you may be able to tell, it's almost everywhere in the United States. Uh, 46 out of 50 states at my last count had uh, at least one organizing group, and it may now be more than that. OK. We do offer referrals primarily to consulting organizations like Maryland's CDS Consulting Co-op and other consultants out there. We will suggest legal advice, sources of legal advice. There's a limited number of lawyers who truly understand uh, consumer co-op law. We, we tell people about the grant programs that we're aware of, including our own. And we'll send people off to other co-op organizations and other resource databases as, a, as is appropriate. OK. The resources that we offer are primarily on our website so that they can be accessed as needed and at no cost whenever a, a, an organization needs them. And we can send people there without having a lot of infrastructure in our own organization to support that, the, the, what we offer to them. Here's a quick uh, screenshot of our home page. Uh, we have it organized so that they can find resources easily, and uh, we can update it quickly. Next slide. Among the resources on our site are these. I'm not going to go through them all, but you can see that we have quite a lot of different opportunities for finding information and uh, delving deeper when that's needed. Next. The training we offer has been uh, extensively through webinar presentations, much like this one, mostly co-sponsored with the CDS Consulting Co-op and using their consultants to help provide top line training in a 90-minute or less format on the web. And we've been able to record those and offer them as recordings on the website through CDS CC. And uh, that's been just wonderful. 
we also do live trainings at the Consumer Cooperative Management Association and are planning a series of regional workshops this coming year. Co-ops that we work very closely with, generally those that have gotten funding from our organization, we make sure we do at least one site visit, meet with their boards and their organizers, and provide some uh, face time with them to have really get to know them better, understand their needs, and serve them any way we can. Next. Our seed grants are early development support up to $10,000. They're small, but they're coming at a critical time when, when these new founding co-ops probably don't have much resource of any other kind. They often have not started a membership campaign even, or have only just begun it. So this helps them to get off the ground. They match that funding with money that they raise locally to encourage them to be involved. And uh, we get that through sponsorships from other organizations, from grants made to us. Next. The Sprout Loan Program is a fund that was created by NCB. We make recommendations for loans from that fund of up to $25,000, again, matched by the co-op and used to help bridge the gap at the end of their organizing process. Next, please. Finally, I think what we offer that is particularly important to a lot of groups is just a sympathetic ear. We're there to listen. We're there for questions that come from left field as well as right. And we do our best to at least provide some encouragement whenever that's reasonably possible, but also to be realistic about what the opportunities and, and barriers are for an individual group that they need to deal with. Next, please. We are a nonprofit organization, and although we were supported by a, a number of professional organizations in the past, including the uh, National Co-op Brochures Association and CDS and, and uh, the National Co-op Bank, Right now, our primary funding is from the Blooming Prairie Foundation, and uh, they make our work possible. So we want to thank them. Next. And uh, well, there I go, scooting by. Uh, there's their contact information. Uh, right now, this is a one-person organization, and uh, if you do contact us, you'll get to talk to me. Otherwise, uh, in the near future, we do hope to be expanding with at least one more person to provide support to all of these organizations out there. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks so much. That was uh, Stuart Reed, Executive Director of the Food Co-op Initiative.